Hello everyone. As the school year comes to an end, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our staff, students, parents, guardians, and community members. It has been an incredible year of learning, and I wanted to share a few highlights of how important it is to us that we make sure our students see themselves in the curriculum. We had great events this year like Day of Pink, of course Pride Month, which is the month of June. Our second annual powwow and drum social at IE Weldon was a huge success and it really highlights the importance of building trust with our Indigenous families. Better Together Art Showcases returned in all three regions of our board and we had great turnout from all of our families. We put an emphasis back on outdoor education, especially for our grade six students and we'll continue to make sure that's part of our plan moving forward. And of course, TLAC, our Tray and Lake Lands Arts Camp is always a huge success and our students are always excited about that. Our Skills Ontario competitions continued and our students did extremely well, both at the provincial and national level with silver and gold medals. And we wish them all the best in their futures as they move into trades and other activities uh, to highlight their skills. And also we had an emphasis on, as you know, our staff and student forums. And we met with our communities to make sure that we're listening to voice so that we can implement many of those things back into our plans for the school year. Our educators took part in meaningful learning throughout the year, and you've heard me talk about the importance of our math and literacy focus. Our K-9 math focus continues, and we've done a lot of work with our consultants and coaches directly in school around that. You know how important it is for us to continue to focus on our early literacy and screening. Our K-3 educators have all been trained, and we'll continue to make sure that we uh, highlight that as an important part of what we do around teaching reading. Our coaches consultants are in the classroom in both elementary and secondary schools. And we're that really important to us that we continue to emphasize that job and embedded professional learning. And we continue to support our administrators to become the best instructional leaders they can be in order to support their communities. And of course, last but not least, our major focus this year has been on mental health for both staff and students. Our mental health counselors and our mental health lead have been in schools, again, supporting staff and students to make sure we have healthy schools moving forward. Our new student attendance initiative was launched in May, starting with our attendance forum where we had parents and of course staff, trustees and senior staff there to really kind of dig into the barriers and what's getting in the way of getting our students to school. We want to continue to sort support parents with this and we look forward to implementing some of those strategies in the fall. Throughout 2023-24, we offer various opportunities for feedback and voice as I mentioned. We had our student census, really important to get demographic information about our students so we can better plan. We had our school climate survey, which we just completed, had the best completion rate we've ever had. And we really need that data so that we can take a look at how well our students are doing to make sure we have the mental health plans to support them. We had our IEP survey for our students with our special education needs. And of course, we continue with our parent guardian feedback that we started in the fall. And just recently, we sent out those survey questions to parents and guardians. Thank you to the partnership and collaboration between all of our students, staff, parents, guardians, and communities. We are definitely on the right track, and we wish you a safe and happy summer. Together, we are better.